Welcome back to Sip the Tyler Fam. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to talk about the lightning fast, lightning in the bottle, Xavier Worthy. And unless you're living under a rock, you know he ran a combine record 4 2 1 at the NFL combine. So we're going to get into some of his film and see if that speed translates into routes and to translates into being a good receiver in the NFL. But before we get into the film, let's kind of talk about what he did at UT. And, you know, his track record going into the NFL. So, um, he spent all three years at Texas. Uh, 2021, he had 704 snaps. 2022, 734. And in 2023, which was last year, he had um, 833. Now, when you look at his RAD score, which kind of, you know, we've been talking about that since the draft has ended. That's, you know, your relative athletic score. And it talks about how athletic you are. He has a 9.42 out of 10. Uh, and all of his numbers came back elite with the exception of his size. And we know he's a smaller guy, but that, you know, kind of helps him with his twi quick twitch muscles. And um, he plays bigger than he is, but we'll get into that, you know, when we get to his tape. But other than that, um, let's take a look at his actual production numbers. And then we'll get into the film. This year he finished with uh, 75 catches, uh, 1,014 yards on 119 targets, which gave him a catch rate of 63%. His um, drop percentage is 6.3%. And he had a contested catch rate, which is not really an issue for a smaller guy. Uh, he had 23.8% contested catch percentage, which he only had five contested catches out of 21 chances. So it's really not an issue when you have a smaller guy, but that drop percentage and his actual catch percentage is the main numbers. And he went over a thousand yards at UT. And again, they played, you know, a few extra games because they made it to the college uh, playoffs. So let's kind of get into the film of Xavier Worthy and see if all that speed translates into a good wide receiver because he's been bragging about how well he runs routes to go along with his speed. And let's get into it and see if he has the production to go along with it. So let's get into the film of, of Xavier Worthy. And again, lightning fast combine record, 4-2-1. Does that translate into to routes, especially after he posted a, a video? I think it was an Instagram video talking about He's not just speed. He can run routes, too. And so I wanted to see if, you know, it translates. And I didn't see many Texas games during the season. I only saw the the one. I saw highlights of the Alabama game. And I saw the one game where they played Washington in the um, playoff game. And um, and in the playoff game, I really was focused on uh, A.D. Mitchell because he really stood out to me. So I didn't worthy even wasn't really even on my register, even after watching that game. So. Let's get into uh, UT and, and um, TCU, and that's kind of the game he went off on. And I got, I think, another game in here, too. That, but I watched four games to kind of find those routes he was talking about. But I only highlighted two in this video. But let's let's get into it. That's him with the arrow at the top. And what I saw, you know, initially was a lot of him just, just running past people. This was a good route. But let's, let's start from the beginning. Let's start from the beginning. A lot of him just running past people. Like this right here. I mean, he's just, he just running past this guy. And this is a terrible throw by the quarterback. So this this is not on, on word. But this is like, this is a skill set. There's nothing wrong with him being able to run past people. That that's This is a need in the NFL. But is this um uh, like routes? No, not really. But it's, it's a valuable need in the NFL. The ability to... to, to Get deep and get over top because when you can do that, just like TCU had to do here, you commit two guys to it. When you got a guy that can can get over top of defenses, you got to commit that guy, and you got to commit that guy to it. So now you can do a lot of other things in the box, whether it's run the ball or throw the ball to other people. When you got a speed guy like this, you got to commit two guys to it, and that's why Tyreek Hill is so dangerous. So that you know his speed is going to be a valuable commodity. Whether it's going to warrant a first round pick, I'm not sure. Like, this ball wasn't caught, but still, TCU had to commit two guys to it. Let's go to the second. And again, when you have a guy like this, see how see how TCU's walk down in the box? 
You got a guy with press and you know you, he's that fast. You give him multiple opportunities. Because, see, yeah, they missed that first one. And now you got one on one. If he can run by the guy, keep giving him shots. Because it don't take but one or two. And like this one, he went and got this one. He didn't finish it because he was off balance, but still, that's a big play. That's about a 40 yard play. You'll take that any day of the week. One on one with one of the fastest guys in the world on the football field, you'll take that. And every time, every time this DB pe- peaked, the cushion got further, further. It says one peak, another yard. Two peaks, another yard. And now it's to the point where the DB can just forget it. Luckily, he couldn't keep his balance for the DB because he would have scored on that. But again, that speed, it changes things. But again, I haven't seen very much routes. And this is the play that we started it with right here. This is a pretty good route, though. See, like, with this, he tried to put something in it, like right there and right there, but that did nothing to the DB. The DB didn't change his direction or anything with that little nuance he tried to throw in it. Jab, jab. Now, the reason he's so open because the DB is terrified of his speed, and that's a good thing. That's no knock on him. That's no knock on him. And he's open like that because of his speed. So that's not a, that's, you know, he gets, he's getting open because of his speed. Now, I'm not knocking him because of his routes because I do see potential. And there are a couple of plays I got in here that's going to show his route potential. But his routes are not on full display at UT. And I think it's because of what they asked him to do. Now, with him on the ball, this tends to happen from time to time. This is him right here on the line of scrimmage getting roughed up. You know, he's going to have to learn to, to get off this because the guys in the NFL are going to be like, all right, you fast. Now, my best way to defend you is to catch you on the line of scrimmage and do that. Now, a lot of NFL offensive coordinators are probably going to keep him off the line of scrimmage and not going to let him be the guy on the line to get press. But when they catch him on the line of scrimmage, they're going to try to do that to him. Because I can't run with you, so I'm going to try to beat you up before you get off. So he got to figure out how to deal with this. And I know, if, you know, if I'm an average speed DB and, and I catch him on the line of scrimmage, I'm going to beat him up too because you, you going to embarrass me. But, you know, most NFL coordinators will not let him be pressed like that. They'll put him in motion. They'll have him stacked off the line of scrimmage. They'll have, have ways to not let him get pressed up like that. And that was against UT. This one is against Oklahoma. I think they lost this game. And see this, see how open he is right there? This play shows his routes. I think I got the full play on the next one. But let me bag it up. That's him at the top right there. He's working the DB out, pushing him back toward the middle of the field. The DB thinks he's going post, and he's selling that thing down. That's a great route. That's a great route. And I only got the back end of it. But it was a condensed set. He widened the DB out, stick it back to the middle of the field like he run the post. The DB has to turn his back to him. He settles that thing down. That was a great route. And look at the separation that him and A.D. Mitchell got. That's A.D. Mitchell at the bottom, too. That's a great route by both of them. Now you start to see the potential in the routes, route running. Let me see. I may have the whole thing on there. I think I got the whole thing. Let's see. Yeah, push him out. Okay, that's the whole play right there. All right. So from a condensed set, he widening him out. The guy's probably thinking fade at this point. And we pushing him back to the middle of the field. He's like, oh, snap, it's a post. So as soon as he gets in his blind spot right there, he look at the knee being over the hips, the shoulders and knees and everything over the hips. That's the marking of a great route runner, route runner right there. Knees over toes, shoulders over knees, settle set that thing down, and not a lot of choppy steps to break. Not a lot of choppy steps to turn around. And works back to the ball. Even though it's a sack, we ain't, we ain't worried about what's going on at the line of scrimmage right now. Just, just the route running. Just looking for route running for, for Worthy to go along with that speed. Because if he can be a, a nuanced route runner to go along with that speed, he's going to be dangerous. He's going to be extremely, extremely dangerous. Got him in the slot right here. Now, this is one of the plays I say his potential to be a route runner is crazy. Look at how he weaves in and out without 
breaking stride out in out in and turns it into a post now that's not a lot in route running but just the way he can weave like that without changing speed that's gonna be crazy when he gets some nuance to it because he doesn't do anything to threaten the db right now because the db is in full let me get up out of here mode but the way he can move in and out like that without changing speed or without losing speed when he learned the body control in the routes this i'm telling you he's gonna be a problem he's gonna be a problem that this is what nfl um people gonna do see how they had the little short motion on him that's gonna keep him the way he don't get jammed have him in a little short motion And this is a, this could have been a better route. This is the out and up. Got him in motion. Run the out. He don't sell the out good enough. Like, that's like almost like a reverse slant. He don't sell the out. The DB never he, the DB never even has a chance to bite on the out. Because he does it so fast. And he should come, and he should come real hard down this line right here. He should come real hard down this line right here. Stick that foot in the ground, then get up. He almost comes at this angle, and then goes up. So he don't sell it out to get the DB to even bite. So when he turns up, the DB is already right on top of it. See? The DB is already on top of his out. His up part, I'm sorry, of his out and up. So you got to get a little better at it. Be a little bit more patient in the route. I know that probably don't, don't sound well when you're talking route running, but you got to be a little bit more patient. And this is versus Kansas. Had a really good route right here. This is maybe the best route I've seen him run. The best route I saw him run in the four games I watched. And this is, you know, this is no motion. This is straight up. You got a little off-man coverage from number three. Pushing him in. Selling some kind of, you know, in-breaking route. Stick that foot down. Turns the DB around and comes flat down the line of scrimmage. Gets, so, gets a low center of gravity. Hands scraping the ground. To kind of lower that center of gravity and break straight out down the line of scrimmage. And even, let me see if it's on this one. Yeah, he even at the end of this one, and I cut it off. Coming down this line, he didn't he, he didn't come straight down the line. He worked back this way to help the quarterback out too. That's what I even loved more about it. His plane was back toward the line, toward the out of bound and toward the line of scrimmage to help his quarterback out. I don't know why I cut it off, but. I love that part about the game, too. And that was his best route, I thought, throughout the whole um, four games I watched. So the potential for route running is there. And I didn't see it, like, consistently. But his potential for it is there. And if he – and part of it could be because the way Texas used him, too, now. Because Texas used him on, Texas used him on a lot of goal balls, a lot of posts, and a lot of screens. He wasn't asked to run, like, this, this deep out. He wasn't asked to run out a lot. He wasn't asked to run a lot of curls. The, the route running – responsibility was really uh, A.D. Mitchell. So he was, uh, Worthy was more like the gadget slash screen guy. But I, what I will say this is, a lot of stuff when he was running them screens and whatnot, Lil Joke is tough now. He, he ain't getting screens and getting out of bounds. He getting screens and trying to run through you. So his his yak ability is crazy. And I probably should have put that in the, in the opening. That he gets his screens and he tries to run through you. He, he ain't necessarily trying to he, are trying, he is trying to avoid you with his moves and juke moves and all that. But once they get to the point where it's mano a mano, it's very often, not very often that he's trying to step out of bounds. He's trying to get, he's trying to size you up and low man going to win with it. So I will say that about him. The Joker is tough. And he, he his route running ability is, it, it's there. It's real, it, it is there. So let me see what this last one is. This last one will be the same one. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, same play. I was just showing you how he worked back to the ball. I said, oh, this one, see how he run, trying to run through him? Uh, he could have easily just went out of bounds. Easily just went out of bounds. Nope, I'm going to size you up. I'm going to get what I can get. That was an extra four and a half yards. But my you know, synopsis of A.D. Mitchell, I really like him. I really like him. He's not just that speed. He has the ability to turn into a very, very, very skilled route runner. Because his ability to to change directions without losing very much speed, the route running stuff he can really get better at. I ain't gonna say he's real very skilled at route running, 
but he has all the tools to be great at it. He's good at it, but he has all the tools to be great at it. There are some better route runners in uh, coming in this draft right now, but he ain't far behind. And he could be better by the time he gets to the league. And depending on who his wide receiver coach is when he gets there, from year one to year two, he could severely advance his route running in the league and could be dangerous, man. He could be Tyreek Hill like in year two, three, or four. Because you can't you can't coach what he naturally got, and that's that speed. And the, that's, that speed is going to put the fear of God in DBs, and he can do so much other stuff off of that, just off his speed. So if he, you know, get with the right system, get with the right coach, the sky's the limit for this kid, man. If, you know, put 10 or 15 good pounds on him and keep keep that that quick that quickness, that twitchiness, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Now, does that warrant a first-round pick on him? I don't know yet. Could be. I mean, if Al Davis was still up there, definitely a first-round pick, but I, I don't know. Right now, I see a lot of mocks. He's going in the second and third. Uh, a lot of um, casual people saying first. Uh, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I'm thinking second, but we'll see. But this is my two cents on Xavier Word, the man, the wide receiver from Texas University, Mr. 421, Mr. Combine Speed Guy. And uh, I appreciate you guys for coming out. And if you like what you saw, like the video. If you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. Uh, hit that bell so you can be notified when the rest of these videos drop. And I'll see y'all soon, man. Peace and love. This is Coach Evans, and I'm out.